boat. What is up? <laughs> um, guys, I finally have my car back. I'm actually going to turn this down because that is really loud. Jesus Christ. Um, so, guys, I've got my car back. Woo! I've literally just come back from work. Hence why I've got this lovely rucksack here. And I've got my laptop here because I've just come back from work. Um, but yes, guys, I've just picked up my car. A bit dusty. Um, just picked up my car from Mercedes. I've had it for a few days um, because... There was something going on with my fuel flap and they've they've repaired it. So it took a few days for them to do it. But I finally got my baby back, yeah boy. So let's go for a little drive. Um, if you're wondering why my car, I haven't had my car for a few days um, and why it went to Mercedes in the first place, because I had it booked in for its third service. So I think that's another service, I think it's a service A3, something like that. It's third service but very first MOT. So we're gonna have a little drive, guys, park up somewhere, and then we're gonna have a little talk about how well this car got on. But it is sunset now, so we are gonna have to be quick about it because I don't want it to be pitch black when I, uh, by the end of the video. So, we are going. <laughs> oh, oh, it just feels so nice to just drive my car again, guys. So it, it just having a new service, or a service, sorry. It's got new oil in it, the whole shebang, oil filter and all that crap. So the car just feels absolutely beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not quite sure where we're even gonna go today. Um, I just wanna sort of, I might go down that little dead end bit where I normally go, just to, just to get a little drive, guys. Cause you, I, 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 I know you guys love the, the drive of these so I'm going for it because people are taking forever around the roundabout oh it does feel good to be back in my car though guys because the courtesy car they gave me was a brand spanking new if you haven't seen last video watch this video and then go watch last video I'm not speeding car I'm going 40 in a 40 don't don't do me like that mate <laughs> but um yeah if you haven't watched my last video go check it out after this video because I basically did, I did a point of view video of the courtesy car and they gave me an A200 uh, saloon. So it's an A-class but saloon, but it's a facelift model of this car. It's quite nice, drove quite, it was all right. But now hopping back into my car, my car, and I'm not even just saying this guys, my car actually does drive better than that car. I don't know what they've done with their newer, newer cars or newer A-class, but this car drives so much better. And that car, by the way, I found out, I don't know if I said it in the last video, actually, but it's only a couple of days old, that car, or about a week old. Um, when I picked it up from Mercedes, it had like 100 miles on it. Um, and then over the last few days, uh, I've been driving it around for work and stuff. And I, had, I think I put on an extra 400 miles, which I hope they're not too mad about. But uh, I mean, they, yeah, they had to keep my car. So, and I've got to work, guys. I've, if I don't work, I'm not gonna be able to, one, be able to save up for my new car, but also I won't be able to pay for the service and MOT. So what can I do, eh? <laughs> but uh, we're just gonna come down here. But guys, ah, oh, listen to that. All you hear in this car is road noise. And I'm not a big fan of electric cars, but I do love this car because it is so definitely quiet. And then when you stick it in sport mode, it makes a little bit more of a roar, which I'm not gonna complain about because I love the sound of an engine and exhaust so yes i'm definitely not going to complain but we're going to come down here guys just oh can't, can't use my indicator properly come down here it's not quite quite as quiet as i wanted it to be down here but it will do because so i'm going to do what i normally do i'm going to park up i'm going to reverse it up to that fence oh, it, oh. <laughs> I love filming around it though guys because it's just it is it's a lot quieter than most of where I live so and the guys in that house there well there's two houses there I think but the one literally right there he come out one time and he wanted to see what I was up to but he wasn't having a go or anything he was the nicest bloke ever and he was like oh what are you doing and I told him about my YouTube channel and stuff and he went oh I'll have to have a little watch so if you are watching thanks for supporting the channel and supporting what I do um, but yeah, it just, I love this little dead end bit. I love it. Well, what's this car doing down here? They're gonna turn, they're turning. Okay guys, so let me get you off 
the side of the car and I'm gonna look through on my phone and let's have a little talk about how my service and very first MOT went. Did she pass the MOT? You'll have to stay tuned to find out. Okay guys, I hope you can see me all right. I've, I have got a little screen on the on the GoPro, so I think I think you can see me. I'm hoping the light is good enough. I'll, I'll try and get through this as quickly as possible so we don't lose any light. Okay, so guys, let's... By the way, do you like my haircut? I thought I'd go super short on top. It's a little bit messy on top, but I thought I'd go super short on the sides, super short on top. What do you think? Anyway, guys, let's go on to... Got my phone here. Okay, let's go on to its... Um, I was going to say MOT. Let's go on to its service, and then we'll move on to the MOT. So, with the service, guys, I got majority green. Um, I'll put I'll put it up on the uh, on the on the screen in a second. But basically, if I zoom in on my phone because I'm legally blind and I can't see anything, um, so my front brake pads they're on seven mil at the moment, um, and the minimum is three. So I just need to be cautious and watch out for my my brake pads um on the front uh my front brake discs are green on this so that's absolutely fine if we go over to our rear brake pads they are sitting on five mil and the minimum is three so the backs are slowly wearing but i've still got a little bit of life left in them so i just need to keep an eye on them so apart from that looking good rear brake discs absolutely fine by the looks of things on here uh parking brake operation perfectly perfect perfectly perfect stuff you know all green um my car just started by itself scary um <laughs> uh, what else we got um we have got the uh, front pass i can't speak passenger front tire that's green uh driver's front tire so let's just say front tire is green um driver's rear well rear tires <laughs> they are green as well but as you can see with the inner it's 3.8 um on the front passenger tire my driver's front tire is on four and my driver's rear tire is on uh 4.2 and my passenger rear tire is on 3.6 so it looks like the left side is a little bit more worn than the right side, but it's nothing to be worried about. Um, still got plenty, plenty of life left in my tires for the, for the time being. And if I'm going to order my new car in March, I'm hoping I'll, I'll be able to get through these tires. Well, I'm hoping these tires will last me until I get my new car. Fingers crossed. I mean, I'm not going to risk it, risk it, guys. I'm not going to um, try and do an illegal. You know, if they need replacing, they need replacing, and I'll do that. But for the time being, it's on green, so it's all good. Um, my wheel condition good by the looks of it my alignment is good by the looks of it my steering operation good front suspension good rear suspension good um external lighting good horn and wind uh, windshield well it is a windshield isn't it windscreen wipers uh washers sorry not wipers um that's green and my wipers front and rear are green as well actually i have to disagree with that my front wiper my rear wipers fine but my front wipers are starting to just start to they're starting to smear the water now instead of wiping it away so i will need new wipers maybe come the new year but i don't really fancy spending money on wipers if i'm getting a new car soon so it's, it's not that bad that it just does smear a bit of the water instead of wiping it away but it is what it is so that is the service by the looks of it guys um or is that or is that the service i actually don't know i don't know now it doesn't say on this on this thing doesn't say what's the MOT and what service. So uh, I don't even bloody know. Anyway, um, this this must be the MOT. Whatever this is, we're moving on to it now. <laughs> anyway, so my mirrors are all good. Glass is all good. Um, the warning lights, no warning lights on the dash. As you can oh, see, no warning lights on the dash. So it's all good. Um, what else we got? Engine oil level check, all good. Air conditioning, all good. Uh, da, 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 da. brake fluid condition good by the looks of it it's on green so it must be good um, my exhaust system uh, good uh, da, 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 da. my I can't read guys so I'm going to have to zoom in because I can't my oh my god my phone is a bit silly today my ex exorary how do you say that word <laughs> I'm so bad at reading guys I'm just going to say my drive belt okay god I'm going to sound like an idiot might need to cut that out but me being the editor of my own videos, 
I'll probably just make myself look like a knob because why not guys you only live once why not <laughs> anyway oh let's tap the screen on the gopro can't see myself um so yeah my drive belt's all good my fluid leaks my my fluid leaks is there any fluid leaks obviously not because um it's on green uh, my clutch transmission uh, all good my brake my brake slash fuel line condition all good i'm going to zoom in because i think i just need to brighten it that's better <laughs> now i can see um yeah my brake fuel line condition all good uh my miscus i don't know how to say that word and i don't know what that means but it's good so shows how much i know about cars um report slash estimate customer report concerns all good obviously there's no concerns um and they sent me a little video as it's shown at the bottom there so i'll, I'll put the video on screen in a moment for you but yeah all is all but that if i go back to my um da, 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 my rear brake pads they've put that on amber just because it is very close to being illegal so but not close enough to that i need to worry about it it's just it's a lot closer than my front brake pad so but yeah so they've worn a bit but the front brake pads of, of course they've worn a bit this car's nearly done forty thousand miles guys so of course you're gonna have wear on the on the brakes it's, it's just what happens and i do a lot of motorway driving and a lot of london driving so in london as you can imagine i'm hitting the brakes every five seconds because you have a stupid idiot on a moped that pulls out in front of you or a stupid van driver that pulls out in front of you um or a cab cab driver's pretty they're pretty good at that they just pull out in front of you so <laughs> have to hit the brakes pretty hard um but apart from that guys everything else is green so i'm more than happy with that so the question is did my mot pass did it pass its mot of course it did guys of course it did celebrate good times come on but yes guys you guys are probably wanting to see the little video that was sent to me just as just, basically every time i take my car into mercedes they do a little health check um and this is the little video they they, they do for for you so here's a video now good afternoon my name's sean i'm a technician here at mercedes benz south end is working on your vehicle today what's your vehicle doing with us just give you a run through and tell you what i found in my report starting for the near side front tire now this tire is currently measuring at 3.8 mm the leg limit is 1.6 that is all okay now with regards to steering suspension and braking on the front, I found your front brake has to be measuring at 7mm. The leg limit is 1.5 and the discs are all okay. Moving over to the offside, there are a few kids will find this side steering suspension and braking wise. This tyre currently measuring at 4mm. I go underneath the vehicle, there's no leaks to turn back from anywhere. All leaks, all systems all fine. And there's also no damage or corrosion to report on the underside today. Over here we have the offside rear tyre measuring at 4.2mm. With the rear brake pads measuring at 5mm and the discs are all okay. Rear suspension is all fine with the shock absorber and spring, as well as your rear control arm and bushes. Moving over to the near side, everything kits all fine here, suspension and braking wise. This tyre currently measuring at 3.6mm. Now, regards to the rest of the vehicle, the interior checks, lights, levels, wash wipe system, seat belts, so everything kits all fine. I'm sorry to take the time to thank you for cheering us on Mercedes Benz South End today, and we hope to see you in the vehicle again in the future. And there you have it, guys. I'm going to put my phone away now. <laughs> there you have it, guys. That is, I know it's only a, a, a shorter video for today, but I just wanted to. I just wanted to I wanted to make a video of the MOT and originally it was going to be in the garage for one day and that was that was going to be it but they they I'll explain to you in a second about the fuel flap but yeah they they saw something wrong with the fuel flap and they had to sort it out for me bless them which was lovely because I didn't realize there was a problem something to do with the color of it I'll, I'll show you in a minute but uh but yes I didn't realize there was a problem with it and they sorted it out for me free of charge uh, the MOT Obviously, I've got a service plan, so I didn't need to pay for the service because I've been paying, you pay it over the year. Um, but with the MOT, unfortunately, with my plan, it doesn't cover the MOT. But when I get my new car, it, the plan that they give me should cover the MOT, which is awesome. Um, but yes, guys, here is the car. Oh, look at the ambient line. I love this car so much. I've missed it. I've missed it so much. I love this car. Oh, I've got the touchpad. The new cars don't have touchpad, so it's it's nice to have my touchpad back. Ambient lighting, big screens. I love this car. I love it so damn much. But anyway, guys, let's. I'm not going to end the video just here. I'll show you what what's been done. Actually, to be honest with you, I haven't had a proper look, look at that sunset. Oh wow! Oh, it's not really a sunset. It's just a night sky. But oh god, it's a bit muddy. Oh dear. But if I come up here, there we go. This is my fuel flap now and as you can see guys the video is not picking it up whatsoever but 
it's now color matched with the car. So what happened a few months ago, guys, I never addressed it on the channel just because I didn't feel like I needed to. Basically, I I think it was in August this year, my, my fuel flap broke. So I had to basically, well, I took my car in because my fuel flap wouldn't open and Mercedes, um, oh, no, 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 no. No, <laughs> the, uh, the technician that was working on my car um, tried to pry it open and by the looks of it, he accidentally, bless him, he felt really bad, but I was like, no, as long as it gets sorted, don't worry about it. But he, as he tried to pry it open to then fix what it was, but it was the little release that was broken, but as he tried to release the door flap it, the, the clip snapped and it just fell off. So they sorted that out for me, but basically what they said on Monday, so it's now Thursday today, what they said on Monday was, Basically, they saw that because they had to order me a new flap and then send it over to a different different Mercedes to respray it to the same color as my car. Basically, they weren't happy with the finish on it, which I thought I didn't. I couldn't tell a difference. But if you look back at some older videos, like the past month or two, tell me in the comments below because I I couldn't really see a difference. But um, but yeah. Apparently they weren't happy with it, so they've they've the past few days they've had had to send it over to the other Mercedes, get it resprayed again, and now it's sitting on the car beautifully. Looks exactly how the rest of the car should look. So I thought that was really nice of them that they spotted that out for me, and they were like, "No, we're going to sort this out for you, Mr. Shiki," and they sorted it out for me. So I've now got my baby. Oh yeah, but I don't know why I'm touching up my car like that. I'm probably gonna get done for sexual assault or something on but from my car, but <laughs> anyway guys, um thank you ever so much for watching this video and thank you so much for Mercedes Benz of South End for servicing and doing the MOT on my car. It's much appreciated. And uh yeah, without more further ado, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. So please subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you're not new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, please do that. Peace. See you guys all later, do. And what do you think, guys? Please let me know in the comments below. Do you think I should get a proper microphone for the channel? Because I'm recording on all these different devices, my GoPro, my phone, my camera, and all that. And um, I just think it'd be good if I have like a DJI little uh, microphone, because they, their microphones are fantastic. But what do you think? Because then I can get some more shots like out there, and I could be really far away, but you guys can still hear me. The only downside is the microphones are very expensive. So if you do want me to do that, I've got to save up a bit of money because obviously I'm saving for this new bloody car, which is a little bit more important than a bloody microphone. But if you want it, I'm going to try it. I'll try and do that for you around Christmas time. I might even ask for it for Christmas. I'm like, mummy, can you buy me? Or mummy or daddy, can you buy me a microphone, please? And hopefully they'll say yes. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to shut up now. See you guys in the next one.